Okay, you guys. Um, now I want to briefly talk about um, SI prefixes. And you guys have been using them. There we go. SI prefixes. Um, you guys have been using these the last few days. Um, we just haven't really specified or talked about exactly uh, what they mean. So maybe you will remember, maybe from your middle school days, um, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Um, I know there's a few other ones. That's probably the one that um, you can think of the best. Okay, so these are the most common prefixes we use in the SI system. This B in our little um, saying here is our base unit. So our base unit would be like the meter or the second. Um, meter is probably the easiest. Okay, so the K on this side. So all of these prefixes over here are larger than our base unit. All of these prefixes are smaller than our base unit. So K is for kilo, and kilo means 1,000. Okay? So if I have one, sorry, if I have one kilometer, I'm going to have 1,000 meters. So I have to have many of these to make up one of these. H is hecto. Again. Means hecto, and that is 100. B is on this side is deca, and that means 10. Um, again, so if I have one decameter, I'm going to have 10 meters. If I have one hectometer, I'm going to have 100 meters. If I have one Kilometer, I'm going to have a hundred or so, a thousand kilometers. Again, if I have one kilometer, I'm going to have one thousand meters. So I need many of these to make up one of these. If I have one hectometer, then I'm going to have one hundred meters. If I have one the A is the prefix, um, decameters, I'm going to have 10 meters. So on this side, these prefixes are smaller than our base unit. So D is deca, which means a tenth. C is centa. Let me make that look more like an N. Centa which is a hundredth. The M over here is milla, and that is a thousandth. So I'm going to need several of these to make up one of these, if that makes sense. So if I have one meter, I'm going to have 10 decimeters. Again, I need several of these to make up one of these. If I have one meter, I'm going to have 100 centimeters. If I have one meter, I need 1,000 millimeters. So these are smaller than the base unit. So I need many of these, or a certain number of these, to make up these. These are bigger than the base unit. I need many of the base units to make up one of these. Um, let me see. And again, our base unit could change. I could put grams in here, and it's going to be the same thing. If I have one kilogram, I will have 1,000 grams. Or one gram is equal to 10 decigrams. Or one gram is equal to 100 centigrams. So the base unit can change. Um, these are, are some very uh, common ones. Or L for liter. Um, so if I have one kiloliter, I will have 1,000 liters. Okay? Or one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. 
Um, these are the super common prefixes. Oops, I think I'm, they're coming off the page here. Again, so one kilometer is a thousand meters. One of these is going to make up a lot of these. One hectometer is a hundred meters. Again, one hectometer, a hundred meters. One decameter is 10 meters. So I need several of the base units to make up one of each of these. This side is different. One meter, okay, I'm going to need 10 of these to make up one meter because a decimeter is a tenth of a meter. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back over here. Um, and there's a few that I want to add to this that are sort of uncommon. So over to our smaller than the base unit side, um, we've got two others. We have micro, okay? Uh, micro means a millionth. So that's going to be point one, two, three, four, five, and one. or 10 to the 6. And nano, I don't know if I'm going off of the screen. There we go. Nano means a billion, so point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, I need one more. There we go. And nano is times 10, whoops, this is to the negative 6, and this is to the negative ninth. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other side, um, bigger than our base unit, um, and we've got mega. Mega means a billion, so I'm going to come down here, I'm running out of room, one, two, three. What did I say? Did I say a million or a billion? Mega means a million. Two, three, four, five, six, or times 10 to the sixth. And then one more is giga. Maybe you've heard that. That means a billion. So I'm going to come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 to the ninth. So this is my base unit. All of these prefixes okay, are smaller than the base unit. You need several of these to make up one of the base units. All of these prefixes are larger than the base unit. So if I had one of these, I need several of the base units just to make up one of those. Okay. Now we are going to be using these, these are down here are called equalities, and we are going to be using these to make conversions in something called um, dimensional analysis. Um, I will try and I'll post this on Google Classroom in case you did not get all of it as I was writing it, but hopefully you were able to listen to the lecture. Um, but I'll go ahead and post this on Google Classroom, um, that way you can follow along and you can make your own. Okay, you guys, take care.